morning everyone we are glad today as we are celebrating the world sick day the theme chosen for this year by our holy father pope francis is be merciful even as your father is merciful which is taken from gospel of luke chapter 6 verses 36 well my dear brothers and sisters 30 years ago saint john paul ii instituted the world sick day to encourage the people of god especially the catholic health institutions and civil society to be increasingly attentive to the sick and to those who care for them in other words to see in the sick brother or sister the face of christ well today at hyderabad archdiocese social service society with the guidance of his grace most reverend dr pula anthony the chairman of has has initiated to bring awareness through this interview intending every member of the society to be healthy and to be freed from the sickness has in its own journey of serving the people has never stopped the progress or looked back in the last 48 years recently on the world cancer day on february 4th we had catered the nutritious food a terminal ill patients at spurs hospice which has a palliative care unit at gachibali and today we are very glad that we have in our midst dr kevin valentine rao a pediatrician ne- neonatologist who has done pediatric advanced life support in usa true to his name valentine he is a man of love for neighbor and also a true devotee of god doctor is with us to clear some doubts and enhances about the health especially in children sir we heart- wholeheartedly welcome you, you for this program and uh, uh, we wish that you enlighten us more about uh how to keep away from the sickness so sir here we begin our interview uh what is actually uh, meant by sickness what do you mean by sickness uh greetings father thank you for giving this opportunity uh for me to discuss about the sickness especially during this uh, pandemic season and uh, thank you father and thank you his highness uh archbishop pola anthony and uh, uh, liturgy tv also looking at this day being a sick sickness day sickness is nothing but absence of health father it can be many ways like uh, sickness can be physical mental it can be social it can be spiritual so when we come to the physical sickness there are many reasons but main reason is because of the diseases it can be because of the allergies it can be because of the cancers it can be because of the drugs so when we come to the psych <coughs> this uh, emotional or mental problems it is because of the loneliness it because of the stress and uh, loneliness and the depression part is very important and the third one is social that depends on the family status family's environment and the last one spiritual is because of the uh, lack of spiritual knowledge or guidance and these are the four angles which we have to see as a sickness could you enlighten us enlighten us about the reasons what what could be the reasons for a sickness sickness especially if we take physical sickness the main reason is the diseases the diseases can be because of the viruses bacteria fungus algae protozoal one thing on the other hand it can be because of the pollutions which are rampant in the society now because of all the chemicals which are taking major part in our life because from the morning till the night we use lot of chemicals for example we use the toothpaste yes then again the talcum powder the sanit and there's no sanitizers have come and again the the, the uh, emollients and the deodorants yes. all those things everything and the house cleaners 
and washing uh, soaps, shampoos, everything is chemical. So because we use lot of chemicals, uh, the industries have come up and polluting the nature and because of the pollution, we are facing the problem. So we are, we are the culprit for our problems. Then again, because of uh, the loneliness and the stress which are facing now, stress is too much nowadays because everybody has a stress as a family. Husband has a stress at his office, wife also, if she if she's a working woman, she has a stress at office, otherwise at home also she has a lot of stress and uh, and the ch children stress and in-law stress uh, and uh, all stresses and especially nowadays uh, families have become uh, uh, single families because of the uh, nuclear families. So we are facing loneliness, depression, all these problems are leading to the mental problems. Then when we come across the social problems, social problems are because of our gatherings, our society and where we are living, where our friends and our clubs, our club nature, everything will affect your social life. Then lastly, the spiritual, if we are not connected to God, see God has created us. So we need to be connected and recharged with God every day. If you are not doing that, then we will have a problem. As the Bible says, we have two bodies. One is a physical body, one is spiritual body. Then the physical body needs all the food which is God has created for us. Whereas spiritual body, God has given us the Bible, spiritual manna. So both the bodies we need uh, the food. The spiritual body, spiritual body, we need spiritual food and the physical body. Now we are mainly discussing about the physical body now, today. Because this uh, sicknesses of the physical body is affecting our economies, our families, our communities and ultimately our church. So thank you for explaining about uh, the reasons for sickness. The next question I just want to clarify is, as a pediatrician, as a child uh, specialist, as a doctor, you are well known or you are, you are into this field and you know what are the sicknesses that affect children now and are affecting now. So what are those uh, common sicknesses that the parents have to be careful of? Very nice and important question, Father. As a pediatrician, very nice and important question, Father. As a pediatrician, I would like to stress on very important point of a sickness in children. Sickness in children again as we have discussed four angles we have to discuss in the four angles. First angle is physical body father. When we discuss about the physical body again sickness in children is because of the virus, bacteria, fungal and mostly protozoal. This protozoal is more in children rather than the adults like worms. Most of the big children suffer because of the worms, because of the bad nail hygiene or basic hygiene. They get lot of worms in their stomachs. The parents, you know, because of the ignorance or lack of guidance, they are not treated properly of deworming. Deworming has to be done regularly on a regular basis by the parents when the child is normal. Most of the parents, they come to me when they are sick. Only during those times they ask for all those remedies. Uh, suddenly they want their children to be already, immediately they want their children. But they don't think of the prevention and their duties when the child is normal. So deworming agent they have to give and lot of chemicals they are consuming nowadays because of the bakery items. For example, father if you say, if you take a biscuit, the biscuit is made some days back or some months back. But the child consumes after many days. The biscuit is made to be preserved by a preservative. But the preservative is good for the biscuit. Okay. But once it is consumed in the body, it will go inside the body and the preservatives are very dangerous for the body of a child. It may cause allergies, even cancers, all. We don't know, many preservatives, they say they are very good. But there is a research going on about the uh, importance and the <coughs> significance of preservatives in the foods. So next is the most important aspect today's problem is screen time. Father, this screen time has become very, 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 very big problem in our lives. 
like TV, cell phones, tablets, all the screen times. Most of the children, they are exposed to this uh, lot of screen time. Normally, we advise two hours per day. Okay. Two hours per day. But children, you know, more than two hours, they are spending their time uh, in, front of, in front of the cell phone or TV or tablets. This is causing a lot of physical problems like eyesight is affecting, mental con concentration is affecting, the memory power is affecting, and uh, the studies is affecting. And overall, they are getting addicted to it. Then we come in, when we come to the mental problem, children are suffering because of the mental problem because of the most of the families nowadays they are becoming single parent. When the parent is single, like single mother or single father, they are having lot of lot of mental problems. They are they are they are becoming aggressive or they are going for depression. They they are uh, goalless. All those mental problems they are coming across when the family health is not good especially the nowadays because of the nuclear families before last previous days they used to have big big families and they used to enjoy themselves and they used to look after each other and speak to them face to face nowadays that interaction between the people in the between the family members is lacking most of the family members will be sitting side by side but they'll be busy with the cell phones so this has become a very very big problem in our day, days nowadays and most of them are watching video games. These video games have become very 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 big problem for children causing psychological problems, psychiatric problems, concentration problems and vision problems. And when we come to the social problems, social problems also because of this friends, relations, all these problems are affecting the children. And the last spiritual problem, the children are lacking the word of God and lack of a proper catechism is causing them the spiritual sickness. These are the four angles I feel we should concentrate and bring out some solution for the children. I do agree with you sir. It's wonderful to know and uh, you have uh, made us to go back to our olden days. Like the food which is prepared in the houses doesn't have any preservatives. And I think that's the reason that the olden days, the elders used to be healthy, you know, because the cookies or something that they made or prepared in the houses does not con uh, con uh, contain any preservatives, rather it is made fresh and then served to uh, the family members. And I do also agree that what you said is about the, uh, the chemicals being used in the food and the children, the screen time, that the time that they use and many of the parents who do not have time and they are uh, just giving the laptop or the iPad or mobile to the children and that's uh, spoiling their health which the parents are not able to realize. Well, parents here is an advice from the doctor to keep your children safe, your, their eyes safe by keeping them far from these gadgets no doubt. The, because of these online classes you are forced to give them but however try maximum not to uh, put your children close to these gadgets rather help them to go out and play and uh, make them energize thank you doctor for that and i have another question for you uh, as this pandemic has created havoc in the lives of the people and uh, uh, the second wave has affected the elders and uh, the middle-aged people and the third wave which has come now has impacted many of the young uh, ch children and I'm sure as a pediatri pediatrician, as a child specialist, you might have also encountered this problem of many children coming to you with this COVID. So, have, uh, do you have something to share about that? Yes, Father. This is a very important uh, angle which I want to discuss. COVID has made our lives miserable. Before COVID, life was different. Now, during COVID, we, the life is entirely different. Before COVID, we had some routine, like as we get up, children used to go to schools, husbands and our wives, they used to go to job and they come back and go for tuitions and again in the weekends, they we used to attend some parties and functions and go to the church and come back and all these things was routine. Now, the COVID has made it such a havoc, 
it has ruptured our routine it has ripped our routine before as a pediatrician i used to see all those diseases because of the all the other diseases like viruses bacteria flu pneumonia diarrhea all these things but after as a doctor after covid or during covid all those diseases are vanished routine diseases are vanished only covid was there covid is there all the routine infections have come down drastically that is one good thing it is like blessing in disguise actually but most of the children are we are doing very well during first wave second wave only during this wave children are affected and thank god that this third wave virus is almost like a important virus there is no potency in the virus that's why the disease is coming like a common cold and it is going off and creating a very good resistance in the children and uh, this is one thing i wanted to share and uh, one more thing during this covid times children as i told you we had a routine children lost the freedom children lost the freedom children lost uh, their friendship in schools their enjoyment in the schools that everything is gone their freedom they are like uh, they, they were like present children were like present in one house not even neighbor's house uh, they used to go in one house they used to be exposed to the parents and uh, some families you know because of this covid times lockdown times uh, they used to have fights they used to have misunderstandings between the parents and grandparents and uh, between house people all those things uh, they are exposed now which they are not supposed to they were ex- they are they were exposed to the fights in between the family members all the things and they were exposed to the lot of screen time videos netflix and uh, youtube all the things uh, which they are not supposed to be exposed which were not supposed to be a part of their life before covid now it has become a part and parcel of their life during this covid and after this also i think they are going to continue so it has become a routine and uh, many people many children are before covid they never knew whatsapp now they know what is whatsapp more than the parents and elders the children they manipulate all the whatsapp messages and uh, all those uh, 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 media links everything they are exposed so this is very much the world literally i can say the world has changed world has changed like you know like uh, before christ bc ad was there after christ came uh, ad has come so bc ad nowadays now we can say before covid and after covid wonderful to hear uh, during this third wave of uh, covid even though this wave has impacted children but not that much you have used the right word important virus which didn't have much of uh, effect on children and uh, it's a really grace of god and as the days go by we wish that this uh, virus becomes more of importancy so that many lives many children can be saved and we come back to normal see so there are uh, now as you said there are also children who are affected with covid what are the problems or the side effects are these children effect are uh, being uh, uh, facing now what are what or in other words what i can say is what are the precautions that uh, the children or the parents of the children can take care thank you father for this wonderful question uh, as a pediatrician i would like to stress on this very important aspect of precautions and the problems of covid in children precautions as you know father as a media says wearing the mask is very important social distancing is very important and washing your hands and feet is very important and gathering no no gathering nowadays the schools have opened the gathering has become <coughs> common now and the theaters have opened and markets have opened malls have opened everything is open now the social distancing is gone for it us so because of that we are facing waves by god's grace this wave the virus has lost its potency so we are not facing much problem but 
the social distancing wearing a mask and washing up hand, hands is very very important even now this wave so more than this the gatherings people can prevent no unimportant gatherings like uh, taking children to the shoppings taking children to some functions all those gatherings uh, they should stop for some more days till this virus goes off fully and especially if if i discuss about the problems facing the children the big problem is nowadays parents they they don't want the child to be tested for covid it is become a very big problem as a doctor as a pediatrician because you know the first wave and second wave by god's grace children were spared really it was a god's grace children were spared the scientific uh, thesis behind this is they have they will have little lymphocytes and some some things which cause resistance against this virus but now this third virus it is affecting children also why because the antigen of the virus has changed the virus has changed its coat and come up as a new variant a new nowadays we call it a deviant it's not a variant it's a deviant so the antigen shift has there so children are suffering with omicron as a common cold but parents they don't want to digest it they won't want to take it they don't want the truth to come out they want it to go like a common cold but the basic problem i want to stress father most of the children are recovering from omicron no doubt but after this sickness for 6 weeks they lose resistance this is very important i'm stressing on this after any virus and this also is a virus after virus children will lose resistance or immunity for 6 weeks especially after chicken pox or measles or mumps any virus so during those 6 weeks they might tend to get some infections which will be minor but become major like ordinary gastroenteritis it may become major and get admitted ordinary cold might become pneumonia and get admitted and most important point for the there is a disease called missy that missy is very life threatening and very dangerous it comes after the 4 weeks after covid so if you don't know that your child has suffered from covid you won't be ready for this missy disease which is life threatening and dangerous to children in uk many many children have suffered and died because of this disease so i request as many as parents to suggest other parents other elders to go ahead for the testing of covid because you need to be ready for this post covid disease especially this missy so we can take some measuring steps like they can improve their immunity by taking best health health care uh, uh, drinks and uh, isolation not going out of stations not going to the gatherings and uh, even if they going some precautions we can take and be ready for the disease so because it's missy is not it is a, uh, it is it can be treated sometimes if it is early diagnosed it can be treated if it is diagnosed lately it will go out of our hands out of doctor's hands and only god can save so and many of the adults after post covid they are suffering with acute mi that suddenly myocardial infection sudden heart attacks they are facing so these are the things which are caused because of the covid but people are ignorant about this they don't want to go with the test even not only not only parents even the government is little reluctant for the testing for this omicron sir you have mentioned about a sickness called missy in children it is something interesting to know could you enlighten much more about it this missy is a very dangerous disease uh, it is more common in children like 1 in 100 it affects after the post covid so this is uh, can be preventable if you are ready with the disease missy is nothing but it inflames all the organs in the body inflammation of all the organs in the body of a child like the cells of the own child will attack the organs of 
his own body. So cells, you know, like it, the, the cells of the body, they think that the organ is a foreign body and it will affect and all the organs of the body will be affected and the multi-system failure will be there. It is very, very difficult to treat if it, the child reaches tertiary stages. So it is very important to, to be ready for the disease. We need to know that the child is post-COVID and we can be ready by doing COVID markers. COVID markers are the main distinct test which we know whether the child is going into the Missy disease or not. So after first one week we'll do once, again the third week or starting of the fourth week we do if there are symptoms related to Missy. They'll have high fever, rash and some symptoms which uh, you have to consult a doctor, pediatrician immediately. But I request all the parents to go ahead with the COVID testing so that you can be ready with this missy. It is very rare, but every child is precious for us. Every child is precious life. Life is precious. So every life. So we need to be ready for the crisis. So we need to, for that we need to go for the tests. But first is COVID testing, then is COVID markers. Otherwise, it is very hard. Doctors can't help. You mean to say, uh, even after you are tested negative, you need to go for test again and again. Maybe yes. after uh, one is tested negative, after two weeks of negative, again they have to go for test. Yes. yes. In order so that they may not fall into the sickness called Missy. Yes, yes. Because fourth week we need to go for COVID markers. If there are some symptoms like fever, sudden high fever with rash. Okay and all eyes congestion mm -hmm. and tongue becoming red okay all some symptoms are there so any any sickness after four weeks after covid you need to rush to the hospital Beautiful, sir you have rightly explained about and uh, about this missy and i was really scared when i heard about this missy and you have really enlightened about it and how to take precaution about this sickness called missy well now after all this, I just wanted to ask you, what is the best nutrition that you can give to the children to prevent themselves from this COVID and various other sickness in general, in general, not only for COVID, but in general, I just want to ask you, what is the best nutrition that you suggest for children? Yes, Father. The bottom line is, nutrition is the main, malnutrition is the main cause for the sickness. So. It comes, nutrition is the best medicine. So many people, many mothers, many of our family must, they think for every sickness, medical shop is the treatment. But I feel kitchen is the treatment. Wow. Kitchen is the treatment. Because if kitchen is good, it's providing proper nutrition, you won't get sickness. Sickness will run away. Like when, uh, when, when good is there, bad will run away. So, nutrition is the bottom line for to prevent the sickness. So, best thing for my patients, I say, homemade, hot earth, mother made diet, especially vegetarian diet. First eight years, we need non-veg, very, very important for the development of neurons and everything. But the best is homemade, hot heart, mother made diet. And uh, as you know, Father, Nowadays we are cultivating lot of uh, vegetables and uh, fruits every year, throughout the year. Because of that, the, our land is lacking in nutrition. So when the land is lacking in nutrition, whatever is cultivated, like fruits or vegetables, it also lacks. So uh, as, as a problem, whatever we eat, we are deficient in some minerals and vitamins and elements. So we need to substitute with these items. So most of them think, I, they say, mothers, they say, parents, they say, ah, we, we give the best nutrition doctor, we give the best, but even then the child will fall sick every month because our diet is not up to the mark, because our land is not up to the mark because of frequent cultivation. As you know, Father, in Bible, Old days in Jews, they used to cultivate only six years and one year they used to give rest to the land. Mm -hmm. Now, is it happening now? No. 
not even one year even throughout the year they cultivate throughout the year they suck all the minerals all the things from the soil and moreover they are putting lot of pesticides and insecticides onto the land so pro nutrition is less insecticides pesticides chemicals are more because of that we are suffering our children are suffering so as a duty as a parent as a elder we need to substitute what is lacking in our nutrition don't think when you eat a tomato or salad think ah i'm getting proper nutrition no because it is deficient so we need to supplement with the health drinks nowadays many health drinks are there available in the market uh, i cannot say the names but we need to substitute many of our mother they think only when they are becoming sick they need nutrition and they give some health drinks mixed with the milk and all but i feel every child and even every adult every adult they need to substitute with a health drink even adults they need only when the problem when health problem crisis arises that time we think of the nutrition part but as for me i feel prevention is better proper nutrition if you give you won't get sick as you rightly said sir apart from have a keeping mask then sanitizing and then social distance you also need to take uh, proper nutrition to keep ourselves fit and uh, healthy especially in children giving them the home made food which is prepared by their own mothers wonderful sir wonderful to hear this from you and you have given a wonderful example about the land cultivation as we go on cultivate it even lo- loses its nutrients so also our body loses its nutrients when we don't properly take care of the body so as you suggest uh, we also suggest people to uh, to be safe then uh, feel sorry later on so when you are healthy try to keep supply the nutrients to your body with the various uh, nutrients which are available in the form of powders in in the medical shops and stores well sir so now we come to the last question sir today uh now what is the emergency medication that every family should hold on to like you know for an emergency in order instead of running to the hospital instead of running to the medical shop then and there no, yes. a kit has to be kept with them so what is that kit that you suggest as you know father uh there are certain things below 1 year and above 1 year okay. below 1 year children they need paracetamol drops for the fever and uh, anti stomach pain drops and anti earache drops these are very much needed and above one year same thing they need paracetamol syrup for the fever and the stomach pain and the main thing is injuries first aid for the injuries they need to keep on first aid box because suddenly children might fall off and suddenly they start bleeding i i every day we come across in our hospitals you know Uh, some injury patients uh, they come and they keep some uh, tea powder or saffron powder to the injury site not to the injury site to the site and one more important point i want to tell if any child gets hurt they need to press wherever the hurt is with some antiseptic or with cloth they in that hurriness and the stress and the crisis they press some side or somewhere else so that the bleeding won't stop simple technique wherever the cut is there there only just if you press it with the bare otherwise with the cloth or cotton wherever the same place they need to press and hold it so that one drop of blood won't waste in that hurry you know they press somewhere else yeah, yeah, okay somewhere else here and there somewhere else not at the point so they lose liters of blood and one more important point i want to stress is this question children during this summer no they have epistaxis blood bleeding really? nose so when they have bleeding nose they need to hold the nose like this hold it for 20 minutes never open it and during the 20 minutes they need to breathe through the mouth must let the child breathe through the mouth slowly just hold it like like a leech once you hold it don't release it hold it for 20 minutes teach the same thing to the child just hold it for 20 minutes see the type hold it for 20 minutes and slowly leave it during the time tell them to breathe slowly 
so that one drop also matter is it 20 seconds or 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. okay 20 minutes and during otherwise they keep on uh, Okay. Uh, collecting the blood. Okay, okay. Some people, you know, just to keep on pouring some cold water, yeah. thinking, making him drink cold water, and all those things are waste. Only holding this is enough. Okay. This is very very important point, and uh, I request all the parents to rush to the hospital. Any minor problems, people, children, parents, they think, ah, this is a minor sickness, minor illness, minor symptom. Why to waste money? Why to waste time and energy? and they neglect it neglect it they don't know they don't know which is major which is minor okay. so best way is, is to go for a medical attention okay thank you father so thank you doctor for the enlightening us with so many the new things and it was wonderful to have you this evening with us to enlighten us more about the children and the children sickness and the sick the sicknesses that come and especially about the covid pre covid post covid and what are the problems involved in the nutrition that you suggested and the first aid that you have said thank you sir thank you doctor god bless you and may your ministry go on well and we wish that you uh, god's healing hand be work through you thank and you, may every blessing come upon you thank god you, bless father. you sir thank and you, god bless everyone